This week, we will be studying the work of Kate Chopin. We will specifically be looking at a selection entitled, The Story of an Hour. Before you begin reading, I would like you to learn some information about her and her life. She was born Catherine Kate of Flattery in, in 1850 in St. Louis. When she was four, her father died in a train accident. She started writing at age 39, and she's considered a Southern regionalist writer. Most of her fiction is set in Louisiana. Her writing themes of class relations, relationships, and feminine sexuality shocked her 19th century readers. They were not prepared for these types of uh, subjects to be written about, especially by women. She died of a brain hemorrhage in St. Louis on August 22, 1904. Here is a picture of Kate with her family, um, four of her six children. She did raise six children. And here is a picture of her husband, Oscar Chopin. A little bit about the selection, Story of an Hour. It was written in 1894 and published by the, the same year by Vogue magazine. Um, at this point in time, many women were having their selections written, uh, published in magazines. Um, the idea of collections of short stories wasn't quite as common. This is the story of an hour in the life of Mrs. Louise Mallard. It just deals with the issues of female self-discovery and identity. Some of the characters in the story, you'll meet Mrs. Louise Mallard. She's the protagonist or the main um, trouble or the main character and she has heart trouble. Brantley Mallard would be Louise's husband. He's assumed dead after a railroad disaster. So there you see her pulling in some of her own um, biography and the death of her father. Josephine is the sister of Louise, and she tells Mrs. Mallard of her husband's death. Josephine um, also embodies the feminine ideal. And Richards is a friend of Brantley Mallard, and he's the first one to hear word of Brantley's death. The setting of the story of an hour is assumed to be during Chopin's lifetime, um, 19th century, amongst Cajun and Creole societies in Louisiana. It's at the home of Lewis Mallard, but more about the exact location of the home is not specified in the story. Some of the themes, there's a lot of irony present in the story, um, ideas of female self-discovery, um, identity and self selfhood, as well as the role of women in marriage. The story takes an ironic, detached, and melancholy tone. Um, the unrecognized or unspoken unhappiness that seems to rule her life is realized only upon word of her husband's demise, and then that's swiftly taken away again at his arrival. So you will see that there's some twist of events taking place within this selection. Some of the motifs are the reoccurring themes present in the story. Um, the idea of being broke or broken. Uh, the window plays a central role, as does her heart trouble. Irony in the story, which is what is understood to be true by the characters within the story and what is understood by the reader. Um, it kind of reveals the distance between what appears to be true and what is actually true. The style, there's, this is a story of simple action and a very detached point of view. It is third person limited, so someone from outside the story is telling it and they're only revealing um, Louise's thoughts and feelings. The story and context of the American experience and literary genre. Um, it was published in 1894 in an era with many social and cultural questions occupied Americans' minds. Chopin's work shocked her 19th century readers. The story was initially rejected by Century and Vogue magazine. The woman question involved which roles were acceptable for women to assume in society. Um, you need to remember that women were not allowed to vote until 1920. 
Since the 1960s rise of the feminist movement, Chopin's work has been rediscovered and is now acclaimed for precisely the reasons it was denounced during her lifetime. Um, I think you will find this selection to be quite interesting, um, and I hope you enjoy reading it. Your assignment for this week is to list five things that you learned about Kate Chopin from her work and her work from this presentation. Thank you, and if you have any questions as you are completing this week's assignments, please feel free to send me an email. Have a good week.